the NutriSense Continuous Glucose Monitoring Review, or CGM, whatever you want to call it. Today I'm going to try something new, and we'll be reviewing the NutriSense CGM. All four of those really have an equal pull on our glucose values, which is why monitoring it is so important, because it helps you see all these different aspects of health and not just your diet. Breakfast! Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, half a lime, half a scoop of magnesium malate, one eighth a tablespoon of potassium chloride, a hint of Himalayan salt, a dash of turmeric, Ryan's awake! A dash of cayenne, it's got a kick, a dash of cinnamon, and some ginger! And obviously water. And now we have. <coughs> Alright, the NutriSense app. So the thing I love about NutriSense is that. It tracks your glucose, right? Throughout the day you have intervals, it's tracking my glucose levels. And it fully integrates with Apple Health in terms of reading, which is amazing. So it re reads my sleep and exercise. So it automatically pulls in my sleep and exercise from Apple Health, because I'm already tracking it on my Apple Watch and other Apple Health integrated devices, like the Aura Ring that gets my sleep. Blue dots that you see there for exercise and sleep. And then the red dots are the ones that I add in terms of what I ate. And they make it rather simple. I just add the plus sign, I say meal. And I can take a picture of my food so they can see, the nutritionist can see what I'm eating. And then at the time I can edit if I forgot to put it in, the type of meal that it is, and a little bit of a description about that meal, and then I, I save it. It requires a little bit of input time, but they make it rather simple. And you can do it also from the homepage. You press and hold, and then you say log meal, and it instantly takes you to the add meal part. So they're trying to make it as quick and easy as possible, and it does require new habits. I love being able to see the correlation of food, exercise, and sleep to my glucose levels throughout the day. Like you can see the spikes here from eating some kind of dessert, double spikes. I can even see the raw scans, so I can see all my glucose levels from the raw scans. I can go ahead and change the calendar dates and see the raw scans from a different day. The meals, exercise, and sleep impacts on my glucose levels. Wow, we had a big spike that day. And I can go ahead and see all my meals. And there are my beautiful photos of, of my meals and not meals. And they also have a habit section, which I never used. And then I can even see analytics for the day, for seven days, for the 14 days, for 60 days, for 120 days. So I did have like a couple of spikes, some high glucose levels, but other than that, pretty decent, around 100. Ideally, you want to below 100. And then I can directly message my nutritionist in this app, which is super cool. Carly was my nutritionist, and I can go ahead and see my conversations with her. But it was in there. But the value in those conversations was, Carly would let me know what she noticed about the food and what I was eating, how it impacted my glucose levels, and she would like recommend different experiments to try. So I thought that was super valuable. It's kind of having like a, a nutritionist coach, a nutritionist personal trainer almost, that's kind of advising you on what to do. And how to test different foods to understand how a specific food impacts you. And the, and the value in this NutriSense, I think, is that it's teaching you to understand the gray area of food items, right? Whole food carbohydrates, so sweet potatoes, beans, whole grains, that's pretty variable. It's kind of a toss up of how you might respond. Drink a whole bunch of sugar, what's gonna spike your glucose no matter what. What this allows you to understand is those foods that might or might not impact you or might have a relatively high impact on your body but not on someone else's body. So learning the customization factor to you and your body is super powerful. Mayday, yelling mayday. Everybody better fake from the gateway. Honey rhinos on the freight train. That's the wavelength. From the bottom where we ate pain for the weight gain. Draw a line and I'll be ten toes pushing past that. Never back back. Fully with the bounty for the bounty with a bag. At. Bring the devil out me, I'm a Another thing is that they're they're working on it. I think it's coming. Is there's no integration with My Fitness Pal, so I can track my foods, but I'm literally just putting like a photo and what it is. Whereas if I was using My Fitness Pal, I'd get a better understanding with all the nutrients and uh, the protein, carbs, fats, 
uh, the different macros, like what I'm actually eating and how that's directly impacting my glucose levels. So something just I'm hoping for and look forward to seeing. Also, it and it does read my health kit information for sleep and exercise, but it doesn't write blood glucose levels to health kit yet. So I can't export it or read that data in a different application. It might be out even after you've watched this video. But you can export the data directly through the app into a CSV. And I think bouncing off of the pricing piece, they, their pricing is uh, like a subscription model. So you have to do like a certain number of months. It's like a plan. Um, and with the more months you do, obviously the cheaper it is per month. And that part I was a little like uh, hesitant about, but I, I love that they had this two week trial, which I was able to do, but it was only for two weeks, which isn't an insane amount of information and learning, but it was enough to get me excited and interested and wanting to do it again. And I really gotta say their customer service and their ability to respond to questions and requests and messages was insanely fast. Like they're super helpful, super kind. So that's just something to keep in mind customer service wise. If you have a question or request, you just use the messaging feature in the app and they're very good and very fast at getting back to you. finished my future fit workout and the craziest part is he's already messaged me Jonathan messaged me already he's like yo nice job blah 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 like I send him some feedback and boom it sends my heart rate data and information he's already responding like awesome dude um, but learning the app and the logistics and knowing that the Apple watch integrates with the app and it shows demos was really freaking cool I also have two free guest passes for a free first month so if you want one of those guest passes DM me on Instagram at shervin.yoga and I'll hook you up but you gotta be one of the first two Okay, so who is the NutriSense CGM for, or any pretty much continuous glucose monitoring device? I think it's for someone who's trying to achieve their peak performance. How do these gray area foods really impact your day? And how do you minimize these glucose spikes so that you can be at your best and, and work at your best mentally and physically? Uh, and really understand like how does stress, how does your lifestyle, how do workouts really impact your behavior? My biggest takeaway was do cardio in the morning because it'll minimize the glucose spikes throughout the day. So I know if I'm gonna be eating sugar like it's Christmas and there's a lot of cookies, I'm gonna be working out in the morning doing a high level cardio workout so that I'll minimize those spikes in the evening and later in the day. And to eat my desserts for breakfast and lunch rather than dinner because uh, as you increase your melatonin near the evening, you uh, decrease your insulin sensitivity. So it's just another thing to keep in mind. And on the other side of it, it's also for people who, if you're pre-diabetes, you're better able to see this data over time to understand are you getting close to it and how can you take measures to prevent that or delay the process. So it's really for two types of people, you know, the people who are trying to be healthy, one type of person. Would I recommend it? If you've got the money, definitely recommend it. If you're trying to really up level your life, Highly recommend it. I think it all comes down to money. If you got the money, use your FSA card to pay for it. Uh, that's what I did and it worked. And so far the behavioral change I think is the biggest impact. It holds them accountable. It helps them experiment and learn. And for some people it's really about making huge lifestyle changes and that takes time. That's because when they did studies for people who drank a lot of alcohol, they asked them to start recording. How much alcohol are you drinking? They would note it and they would see that data. And then over time, these people started to drink less because they were actually seeing the data in terms of how much alcohol they were drinking. And I think, that, I think the same thing applies for everything else in life. If you're seeing the data, you're seeing the trends, your behavior will just naturally change in a direction that's gonna benefit you and that's gonna benefit the data that you are visually seeing. So whether it's your sleep and tracking your sleep with the aura ring, or it's tracking your blood glucose levels, naturally you're gonna to start to realize and understand, oh, this impacts this, so I'm gonna stop doing that, and I'm gonna change my behavior in this direction. I think that's where the true impact comes in. It's a tool that drives behavior change and allows you to live a healthier lifestyle. That's the biggest value and value proponent to continuous glucose monitoring devices like this. So having that real-time feedback and you know you know right away what 
something did to your body, that really enforces actual behavior change. And no, you can also get a Freestyle Libre through your doctor with a prescription, and it's a bit cheaper, and they do have their own apps, so there's just something to keep in mind, but I think there all is also immense value in having a NutriSense dietitian who's gonna support you in terms of the experiments and understanding your data. It just gets a lot easier. I think it's called, I, I might be mixing those two up by the way. I don't think a dietitian and nutritionist are the same thing. So please correct me, I think I'm totally wrong. Let me know in the comments below. So it's just a matter of convenience and price. What can you afford and how much time are you willing to invest to understand that data? Question of the day, have you tried a CGM? Would you wanna try one and why would you wanna try a CGM? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, hit the notification bell. I'll see you in the next video, peace. Let me know what you thought about the workout. Have a protein shake after the workout.